Communication Workers of America, Alliance for American Manufacturing, Bio Green Cleaning, the I Save team. Make it happen right here on Ed Schultz News and Commentary. Thanks for the view. Thanks for the download. You get it at wegeted.com. You also get it at rawstory.com and ringoffireradio.com. What a team they have put together. You'll find all of my work on their website as well. All right, we have a budget deal, and there were some compromises last night on first reports. The Republicans got a two-year delay on Obamacare's medical device tax. Now, before we go to Jim McDermott, I just want to profoundly point out that we do have to pay for Obamacare. There's no free lunch here. This was one of the mechanisms that was put in place in the Affordable Care Act that was going to help pay for the bill. But now they've taken a two-year delay on it. Uh, They've also got a lifting the ban on exporting domestic crude oil. Uh, you know, the Republicans always got a bone in the, in the, in the ointment for, for the oil company, don't they? They can always grease the skids for big oil. Uh, and also, they've got the delay of the implementation of Obamacare's Cadillac tax. If you have the best health care uh, product out there, that you're going to be taxed for it. So uh, all of this is put on hold to save a shutdown. So what did the Democrats get out of all of this? Jim McDermott joins us, congressman from Washington, and also a member of the House Budget Committee. Jim, good to have you with us. Good morning, Ed. How are you? Very good. First of all, is this uh, a, a new opportunity with Ryan? Did Ryan get anything done here? Is this is this formidable, as you see it, as opposed to what Boehner would have done? Well, I think he had the advantage of sort of a honeymoon with his caucus saying, look, you guys, let's get this done and let's get the field clear so we can fight for the election in 2016. I think they made, some people are making compromises and swallowing hard on his side to go along with him in order to make this uh, so he can really ramp up toward the 2016 election. So you think he sold big picture to his caucus on this? Yes, he, he absolutely did. He he said there's no point in us you know, shutting down the government or doing anything crazy like that. Let's make this smooth and get out of here. And so then we'll come all, all back the, and fight. So what it comes down to is all this rankering over Planned Parenthood being funded, all the countless hours of network coverage and bickering back and forth, that's all for nothing for the conservatives. It's almost as if they were just trying to change the subject until they could decide what to do. What do you make of it? Well, I think that uh, they're, they're not done with that issue, but they're going to put it into the campaign year. And as we move toward the next budget in uh, September of uh, next year, when we, the fiscal year starts again, uh, we're going to hear in the ramp up to that beginning in the summer, you'll start to hear all this stuff about Planned Parenthood and all that. Okay. The thing that's most worrisome about what this bill does is that it is setting the stage for big increases in premiums in 2016 or 2017 in the Affordable Care Act. You are, by doing some of the things that uh, have been done by uh, Cruz, primary, or excuse me, uh, Rubio. Rubio had an amendment in there that takes away the um, sort of cushion for the insurance companies. So the insurance companies are going to pass the cost on to the, to the consumers in the middle of the election. They will announce their premiums for 2017 right at the end of the 2016 election and it's it's going to it's a bomb that we lit by this bill today as we put uh Rubio's provision in place uh you're going to see problems you saw cooperatives folding mm-hmm. that's because we took away the support for insurance companies mm-hmm. and the insurance companies are going to do it by passing it on to the cons- consumers uh toward the end of the year okay so that's going to be an election conversation uh, come August, September, and October before the election. And we're going to go through all of this again, although it was a story that was kind of kicked under the rug yesterday, the deadline for signing up for Obamacare. Once again, they couldn't handle the number of people that were trying to do it. Right. Uh, I mean, the, the, the program is very popular, and it's saving lives. There's no question about it. There all right. No question about it. And the fact is that they are going to try and bomb it right at election time. Okay. Okay. Um, What about kicking the can down the road on paying for it with a medical device tax? I know that there's been a lot of lobbying on the part of the the manufacturers to make sure that they don't have to bite the bullet on this, but there's a price to pay on this, isn't there? As you go down the road, there will be less money, 
And so the Republican candidates for president will saying we have to repeal Obamacare. It's costing way more than we have coming in. Not admitting that in fact they've cut away the revenue from the from the uh, program. I mean, they they take away the revenue and then they go down the street and say, "See, there isn't enough revenue yeah. to pay for this." It's well, it, it's so it, transparent. It, well. <laughs> And lifting the ban on exporting domestic crude as if we don't have enough oil on the world market right now. I mean, the Republicans can't do anything with the budget unless they got a big bone for uh, for big oil. They, you know what I mean? I, I mean, it's just how they, do you how do you view that? Well, they extracted that uh, ban lift uh, because the Democrats said we want to continue to have the plant programs that will support wind and solar alternative energy, and the oil company said, okay, yeah, we'll give you that, but give us the ability to sell our oil overseas where we can sell it for higher prices as crude, and if we sell it as as uh, we refine it in the United States, we can't get the same price, and they're giving away jobs on top of it, because if you don't refine it in the United States, you sell the crude right straight through and out the, out the front door, you take the jobs to some other company, country where they refine it. So it's a job loss, and it's more money for the oil companies in exchange for a little bit of something for solar and wind. 